I'm just watching the face to face against Nate Diaz. And again, I'm, I didn't grow up really on UFC, but I'm just wondering, like, how is this guy like a free agent? And if he loses, he still wants to fight or he's like a free agent. He wants to go back to UFC. Is there a point in time? I'm just thinking for this guy specifically to maybe kind of call it quits at some point here soon. There's a point where everybody has to call it quits, but it's a matter when they want to call it quits. But if you're if you're in a right. position like Nate Diaz and somebody's throwing, you know, 10 million, 5 million, 2 million, whatever at you to walk in and do what you do. I mean, he pretty much fought the fight he wanted to fight. Right. I don't know how hard he trained for the fight. Um, you know, it's a money grab at this it, point. I mean, is Nate Diaz out there to become the champion of the UFC? I don't think so. Yeah. He's out there to fight Conor McGregor in a trilogy, which will do what? Numbers. Okay. Yeah. Numbers. Exactly. And yeah. he'll have the pleasure of fighting Conor McGregor again, which I'm sure he'd love to do. Yeah. Speaking of celebrity boxing, I uh, kind of heard it on your latest podcast with uh, Kevin Holland, Mark Zuckerberg, Elon Musk. Do you think this actually happens? Yeah, I do think it happens. Okay. Okay. I do. Uh, how, what's the type of type of fighting style there, do you think? MMA. Because, MMA. Okay. Yeah, it's got to be. I mean, if they, if they try to... Uh, modify the rules in any way i mean that's not my call you know i'm i'm listen i'm i'm an i'm a mercenary soldier okay they yeah. point and shoot okay i do my job um my trust is in dana white you know he, he's an amazing maverick of a businessman he's got us to where we are today along with everything else that he has at his disposal and uh from everything i've seen heard talked without saying i mean i just i think this will happen at some point right. now if it happens it's got to be on a big card. Yeah, uh, won't be the main event, and it could be the it could be surpassing you know four point one million buys. Now you said that four point one million buys was for what? The UFC two seventy seven. Yes, four point four five million. Which one was that? Was that Conor and who? Uh, that I do not know. It was Conor McGregor, though, I'm sure. Okay, it must have been right. Yeah. Um. Let's talk about. Would you oh, would you ever call a Jake Paul fight, or is that just like against Dana White's like thing, or you would just never? I just curious. I won't call a Jake Paul fight in boxing. Um, I don't think I'll ever be asked to because he's going to make deals with people like uh, Jimmy Lennon, who's fine, fine boxing announcers and contract to the people, or they brought him in. Or I probably, I probably rather put my brother. In. You know, I manage my brother, the great Michael Buffer, and I'd rather put him in to do it. That's his world. Not that I haven't done boxing or appreciate it or could do it. I'm allowed to do whatever I want, except for MMA, because I'm exclusive to the UFC for MMA. Right. Um, in respect to the Paul brothers, uh, something I would enjoy doing is a one-off and announcing Logan Paul in the uh, WWE. I was going to say Logan Paul breaking news. I just came out with he's fighting Dylan Dennis in a boxing match October 15th. About That'll be a highly watched fight again. Yeah. Let